It's race number four, the 1998 Iraq season, the Richmond 100 at Richmond. Steve Morgan is on the pole, and two is outside. It'll be Adam Carlson. Then Tony Green, Ethan Lynn. Also, TJ Hanley, Marcus Sachi, the points leader, and your last race winner at Watkins Glen. Jeff Bright, Carter Friesen, Alan Bird, Brady Warnus, Riley Spurley Tube, and Jay Gambit round out the field. Your 12 car field for 25 laps at around this 3 fourths mile track, Richmond. As they come down to the stripe, Steve Morgan will lead the field to the green flag. We're racing at Richmond. Steve Morgan did a good job there keeping the lead and will lead lap number one by a good margin back there. There are three wide, TJ Hanley in the middle. Down low, it's Jeff Bryan, the five. He's won here a few times over his career. I say a few, he's won here a lot. Oh, almost contact there between Adam Carlson and Alan Bird. They somehow kept off each other, but that could have been disaster. Steve Morgan continuing to lead. TJ Hanley trying to fend off Alan Bird. Looks like Bird will get to his inside. As Ethan Lynn trying to run down Steve Morgan. Morgan has gone up the track the last few times, so he paints the L-line pretty nicely right there. And now Morgan goes up the track. Ethan Lynn just a little bit lower onto the back bumper of that four car. Looking for the race as they hit one and two this time. Oh, he's got him. Ethan Lynn to the inside. Steve Morgan. Oh, hard behind them into the wall. Tony Green goes around. Riley Spurley did no yellow. Marcus Sachi might have gotten some damage in that. He's pretty slow. We're still full, full speed racing. Ethan Lynn got the lead. Now Jeff Bright's turn to lead. He gets by. Let's check what happened either when we get a caution or at the end of the race as this racing up front is wild. We're not going to cut away from this. Alan Bird might get two for one right here as he gets underneath Ethan Lynn and passed. He was fourth at the stripe last time by and going into one this time. He'll be your race leader. He goes up the track, however, and Steve Morgan looks back down low. Intense here. Last swapping of the leads. I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffed or a little weird. I, I think it's the start of the summer sickness I usually always get. So, um, so I woke up and I kind of had it. So probably going to be the first day of many. I sound like this. Ethan Lynn gets to second behind them. Jay Gamut up the track. TJ Hanley and Bray Renes bound. Then Carter Friesen and Marcus Sachi. Adam Carlson. It looks like Riley Spurley Tube still on pit road. So he's not retired quite yet. But he might. That He took a hard hit into the wall. I would not be surprised to see that one car DNF. And Tony Green after going around. Still on track. Ethan Lynn trying to get to the back bumper of Steve Morgan and buy him. Last race here in the 1997 IRAC Series, we saw a photo finish between Junior Ramos and Josh Crash. Well, we see something similar here tonight. Jeff Bright's won a few of these in photo finishes. As he slides up. Oh, wow, we got our Steve Morgan, too. Great run for that five car, Jeff Bright. He'll move past to the race lead in three and four. A good move there by Bright. Comes down the front straightaway. And now the field's all spread out, so I don't know if we'll see a caution. Marcus Sachi, going to need to get, he's ninth right now, but man, if he wants to keep that point, so he might have to get up to the front even more. Steve Morgan will clear Jeff Braff of turn number four. Behind them battling with TJ Hanley and Bray Ernest. A lot of guys back here battling this. Jeff Bright looks low for the race lead again. Five and four, battling hard, but Morgan goes way up the track, and that'll allow Alan Bird to get by for a second. Good racing up front here at Richmond. But Bird might have gotten a little tight. Steve Morgan trying to clear Ethan. Lynn couldn't quite do it. Lynn will get to third as Jeff Bright pulls away. Oh, Bird up the track. Here comes Ethan Lynn for second. He'll get around. Bray Ernest, TJ Hanley, Carter Friesen, Jay Gambit all trying to run down these front few. But Jeff Bright pulling away from this three car battle for second. It might even be. About five or six cars soon. Bright does, does go up the track there. Ethan Lynn kept it nicely on the bottom, but Steve Morgan painted that yellow line as he comes down the back straightaway. He'll get to second place, but this is just furthering Jeff Bright's lead with these guys passing each other. Bright's pulling away. These guys are going to have to start 
getting it single filed out, trying to run down Jeff Wright. Up front here at Richmond. But he did go up the track a lot that time, but so did Steve Morgan and everyone behind him. They can't catch up as now Bray Ernest, Car Freeze, and Jay Gamma and TJ Hanley have all caught the fact they're all going to be in this battle for the race lead. Possibly, well, it might just be for second because Jeff Bright continues to pull away. They continue to battle for second. Ethan Lynn gets to second. 11 laps to go. But now Ethan Lynn goes up the track and Steve Warren goes right by. That's what I'm talking about with these. They have to get single filed out, but they just can't do it. 10 to go. And Jeff Bright just hoping for no yellows. He's out front. He's dominating right now at Richmond, something we've seen before in the past. He actually swept Richmond in season one, I believe. Or no, it was season two of the Target Series where he swept Richmond in the nine car. So, trying to win another one at Richmond here today. But he has Ethan Lynn, Steve Morgan, and others trying to chase him down. Jake Gambit making contact with Car Friesen. I thought that might have been a yellow late race restart, but no, Friesen and Jake Gambit keep it off each other. And we continue green flag racing as they are rubbing back here, hitting. Jeff Bright's lead been cut into just a little bit. Ethan Lynn is trying, oh, Lynn way up the track. He's overdriving the car trying to catch up to Jeff Bright. It's really just hurting him more than helping. Adam Carlson looks to be off pace in that eight car. Oh, he must have been involved. He must have gotten some damage. He, Jeff Bright is catching him. They got Tony Green, Marcus Sachi still just lurking behind these guys as Ethan Lynn and Steve Warren battle. But let's look at Jeff Bright. He's catching lap cars. Seven to go. Steve Morgan will get to second here into one and two. But if Bright catches these guys, or if Bright catches Carlson at the wrong point, could be a race decider. Six to go. Jeff Bright's doing a great job of holding the lead. They have gotten single filed out, so if Bright does make a huge mistake, like go up the track like he just did, Morgan and Ethan Lynn could close and get by him. They're trying everything they can right now. As we, as, as um thought, right, was pretty did retire from the race. He obviously had a ton of damage. It was nine tenths last time by. What is it this time? Well, it's just down to eight and a half tenths. They closed about half a tenth. Jeff Bright does get by Adam Carlson without any trouble, but it looks like he they did slow him down just a little bit. Steve Morgan tried to get inside of Carlson. That might have slowed Morgan down a lot. Oh, contact with the lap car, showing his displeasure with four to go. And he's cut down to three quarters of a second, and Ethan Lynn has gotten off his back bumper. Lynn got into it with the lap car just a little bit, but Jeff Bright, loving what he sees. Clear racetrack, and those cars behind, behind him are pretty small. Is to make it three more laps around Richmond. And the gap just continues to go up. So Jeff Bright has this one unless something happens to him. He has no cars ahead that could affect the race for him. Big battles for fourth on back. TJ Hanley, Jay Gambit, Carter, Friesen, Allen, Bird, Bray Ernest all in that battle. With two laps ready to go. One and a half miles left at Richmond. Steve Morgan and Ethan Lynn are going to be in a big battle for second behind Jeff Bright. It's going to be over a second behind him. Ethan Lynn up the track. Morgan tried to do the crossover. Couldn't get it done. Now he does it at the end of the straightaway. Meanwhile, Jeff Bright off a of four. White flag one more time around Richmond. He took the lead around the halfway point of the race. Never looked back as they battled for a second behind him. He pulled away in a race that had a crash early on that didn't bring out a yellow. And into three and four, Jeff Bright will dominate here at Richmond. Put himself into championship contention as Jeff Bright wins the Richmond 100. They bow for second. Steve Morgan gets it. And the rest of the field comes across. Jeff Bright gets it done. He dominates here at Richmond. As Tony Green will come around and finish. Remember, he got spun out. Now, let's, let's look at that incident where he got spun around. That was pretty early on in the race. I'm trying to see... Yeah, it was about this lap, I believe. Happened with Riley Sprigletip up ahead. They got three wide. Yes, this would be the point where it happened. They got three wide. Adam Carlson up top. Sprigletip just kind of drifts up into Carlson's lane, hits the ball head on, almost goes over, and then Tony Green spun around and all that, and that's where Marcus Sachi had to get on the brakes and avoid it, and that's how he lost all the, that time. If he could have stayed with the pack, he would have had a shot more points. But your points that are coming into today... 
finishes uh, towards the back of the top ten. It's gone board. Luckily, he gets around without any incidents, but still tough for him. Meanwhile, Jeff Bright was battling up for the lead, and he wins the race here at Richmond. As we look at the finish results, Jeff Bright wins the race by over a second. Steve Morgan is up second. Ethan Lynn, third. Alan Bird in fourth. And TJ Hanley rounds out the top five. Then Braver and SJ Gamut, Carter Friesen, Marcus Sachi, your points leader. Tony Green, Daniel Carter's finish on the lead lap. Adam Carlson was lapped down. Riley Spurley to retired from that crash damage. Congratulations to Jeff Bright on a dominating victory here at Richmond. Moves him up into points contention. But my oh my, Marcus Sachi still has the points lead after Richmond. Brayron is 12 points behind in second. Ethan Lynn is 18 back in third. Jeff Bright 25 back in fourth. Steve Morgan 30 back in fifth. Jay Gambit is 50 back. I don't think he's going to have a shot. He's sixth. Alan Burr is seventh. TJ Hanley eighth. Tony Green is ninth. Riley Spurrier to tenth. Carter Freeze in eleventh. And Adam Carlson having a disappointing season is 12th in points. So my oh my. It's going to come down to the last race for this season. No one I don't think in any series has um, has finished top top five in all four races, but we still have 1999, 2000, all the way up to 2005 left. But something to think about. So the next race and final race of the season will be the Homestead 100 at Homestead, but we have the 1999 IROC race from Richmond coming up. See you guys then.